All right, this is your boy T, and y'all are now tuning in to the Problematic Podcast for the best bad advice on the planet. Uh, yeah, uh, this is Mr. Riff Raff, Dale D'Antoni, the Pastel Prince, and you're listening to The Problem Attic, the worst advice show ever. Dan Microphone check. This is a microphone check. Um, I'm testing this out. Listen, here's here's what's going on is I'm in the uh, I'm in the living room because I don't feel like moving to the studio. And I, I heard an echo in here when I tried to do the intro previously. So now I've put a crown royal bag over the microphone like I'm from the movie Hustle and Flow. How's it going? Oh, I'm sorry. Film. I meant to say film. The film Hustle and Flow. If you say film out there, if you're out there and you're you're a fil- you, you're a person who says film, can you just relax, dude? You're bumming us out. I'll tell you that was one of my favorite films. Uh, I'll tell you what my favorite part of Dennis the Menace was. Whenever he- <laughs> My favorite film is Dennis the Menace. And what? Dennis the Menace. And one mixtape. Volume 5. No, that's wrong. And one mixtape. Volume 3. Ratatouille. Then and one mixtape 5. That's it. Those are my favorite films that I like to watch. Oh, and also that Smack DVD with Jim Jones on it. The rapper. Not the cult guy. (sighs) Firefest.org, guys. www.firefest.org. Go get a shirt. Go get a go get a F-U-C-K-I-N-G shirt. You can't go around shirtless. How many we're not gonna tell you anymore. All right, put a shirt on, dude. It's fucking it's mad weird. Mad weird. It's uncomfortable. Buy a shirt from me. Also, I will say this, and I'm not complaining because it is nice to get the love and the feedback. But uh, if one more goddamn person comes up to me and says, oh, man, those shirts are crazy. I got to get one of those. I'll tell you what, those problematic shirts are crazy, dude. I got to, man, I got to figure out. I got to find a way to, that I can, I don't know how, I mean, there's, I see people have them. I don't know how to, if only there was some sort of map or some that I could get it. What are you talking about? Go buy a shirt, you weirdo. Buy it or don't, or don't, but don't do this thing where you're like, man, those are crazy. I got to get one of those. Go get it. It's for sale. You can have one. You can have one. Is that a normal thing? Am I the only person that deals with that? Man, I'd love to have one of those. Those would be, that would be so much. My life would be, I mean, 1% better. If I could just figure out. When, Lord, when will I find a way to go to www.firefest.org? I even made it so simple. I'm, guys, come on. I cannot do more. Rather than pulling up. Is that what you want this to be? Is that the place you want to be with me where I just pull up and I slide on you to give you the merch? And I have to throw it at your head and I have to go here, stupid. I would never do that. And you know that. Anyway. You know who knows that I wouldn't do that the most? Jenny Zagrino. All right. Fast friends. I don't know if you ever, you ever have like a interaction where like a mutual friend where like I, I had known some people that worked with her in the past and they were like, they were talking so highly of her that in my head, I'm like, 
you guys should probably stop. Like this is, you're overhyping this person. Could not possibly be that cool. And she was. She's awesome. She's very funny. Uh, the show went well. I, I did it. Well, I didn't do the show with her. I was on. I was. She was nice enough to let me open. Or host, whatever. But um, that's why this episode's coming out so quick after the last episode. I don't. You guys know I don't usually do this. But there, she's on tour right now, and I figure if I can get at least. If like three people go to a show in a city because of this podcast, that'd make me very happy. And she deserves it. She's very funny. So, uh, listen, this one's going out to you. La Fayette, I hope I'm saying that right. The home of the Raging Cajuns, Lafayette, or as they say, La Fayette, So go out there, you know, get your Cajun, get your fucking Cajun asses. (laughs) Over there, stop eating alligator and get your bum out to the comedy spot. Right? After after that, she's going to Houston, Tejo. Right? Houston, Tejo. And then followed directly after that by Austin, Tejo. So, (laughs) that's the tour. So if you live in if you live in either Ashtown Tayshon, Houston Tayshon, or Lafayette Lawa, then go to the show. And I hope Guinness is gonna listen to this for the uh worst plug of all time award. Which is gonna go to me. So you know, I couldn't have done it without you guys. Thank you guys. I love you all. Buy some F U C K I N G merch. All right. I love you. Enjoy the episode with the awesome, the very funny, the very cool Jenny Zagredo. Like an idiot. And uh, I have two things in my home that's bad. Number one, I know my house is haunted. So already. You know for a fact? Yeah, 100% my house is haunted. Why? So. There was just, like, weird stuff happening when I moved in. Occasionally, like, my dog barks at that stuff that's not there. Okay. Um, I was having things moving around, or I was like, how did that get there? Well, like, in front of your face, they were moving? Like, okay, like, I put, uh, one time I, like, um, had my dog's leash, and I couldn't find it, and it was stuffed in a shelf, and I was like, why was that there? Either, like, I just Whoa. forgot that I stuffed it there, but okay. also, like, why would I put it there? Yeah. Um, and then another time as I was sewing something, I put the needle down um, and then I turned around. It was gone. And I found it the next day in the doorway. In like, the doorway? Yeah. The, and it's like a good like, you know, the doorway is like where the chair is. Yeah. So like uh, like, uh, like a it, first down away. Yeah. And then I had yeah. to like travel through carpet to like get into the door. Yeah. Like, just weird stuff. Where I was like, this is so weird. I had like lights like a, I turned off lights and I come in. I wake up in the middle of the night, go to to pee, and the light is on. Um, sometimes I wake up at, like, 3 in the morning, and I'm like, mm, someone is, like, in. I think someone's, like, in the corner. Whoa. Like, yeah, I can't see them, but I just get the vibe of, like, ah. Is it a vibe of, like, this is somebody who means me harm? No, no. Or is no, this somebody who's malicious. hanging out? Someone who's hanging out. So What's then, worse? So then I was telling my mom about this, and she was like, uh, you're crazy. And um, then I got a letter in the mail addressed to the old tenant from the cemetery up the street. What? <laughs> that was like a survey because <laughs> I opened it. Because I was like, a cemetery sent me a letter. Yeah, it's a little on the nose, ghost. And so then I kind of like forgot about it. And then, um, and I'll tell you about two recent things. But so then uh, the woman who used to live there, she called to see if she had any mail. And I was like, I don't have any mail for you, but I have mail to this guy. And she was like, oh, that's my husband. He passed away six months ago in the hospital. So he didn't die in the house, but he died. Okay. And I think that sometimes what happens is the veil gets thin and they just walk in. So, like, there might be places that aren't normally haunted, but sometimes you're just like, ah, I get a weird feeling in here. Okay. I think that's just the veil thinning and, like, spirits coming in and out. Oh, 
okay. just being like whatever. Um, and so recently what happened is I had this old table propped up on a wall and I was sitting in my office and I heard three distinct creaks and I just was like, whatever. And then I remember going by the table and I pushed on it and it made that same noise. Okay. So the only way that creak could have happened was if someone had pushed on the table. Can you do the creak? Creak, creak, creak. But <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean do the creak? Well, I want to know. Was it like... It was like... It was like... It was like... And it was because like this but it was very deliberate. distinct... Yeah. Noise of like old wood. Yeah. Moving. But it was three times. And then my friend right now is watching my dog and she was like, I think your house is definitely haunted because she said that she had an old, a Snapple bottle in a bag on the counter and then she heard a crash and then went in in the kitchen and it was on the other side of the kitchen. And they broke it? No, broke it, was just, it was a plastic bottle. Oh. So there could be reasons how it, like. I was going to be very upset. Like, like, like maybe it just fell, but also just like, just little stuff like that happens all the time. But it seems like if this is, if this is the case, mm-hmm. and I'm okay, I'm okay with it being the case, by the way. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not saying there aren't spirits, especially if you're listening spirits. <laughs> I'm not I don't want no smoke. Yeah. But it seems like they are number one, so funny. Why? They're so funny and they're so like it's they it must be all day they spend planning these what I'm calling pranks. Well, but what a light like what a lame life. What a lame life to Being just, a prankster. Yeah, just turning the lights on and off. I mean I but, had a PhD and now I like, you know. Yeah, well, it's not if even I can a turn life. Turn a light anymore. on. Like, but I mean, but that would be like. There's probably they probably all have all their boys with them. Yeah, or you know, their their team, and they're like, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Flip, and they flip the light on. And they like hide. Like, oh shit! <laughs> like, look at her. She's so what? scared. She's so scared. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> I'm. Sh- I mean, maybe. I just. I was reminded that. Um. So my sister. At her boyfriend's house, they have the Nest cameras. Yes. That are sound and motion activated. And nothing's ever happened before. But then she uh, showed me that one night, every 56 minutes, the cameras went off. And there was this weird, like, noise. And if you listen to it, it definitely sounds like there's a voice distorted. Damn. And it's a British voice, which is even weirder. Like, at one point it said, like, I don't have the heart. I don't. Another time it said, fuck you. Yeah. Oh, like this. and it's a British person. But so I was listening to it in the car as well. So the bass was up and every time it went on, I could hear distinct footsteps. Uh-uh. But it's like nothing's ever happened in that house before. So that's why I'm like, I think, again, the veil is just like thin and then they just show up. Because oh. there's tons of people being like, I've had one experience in a house and nothing else has ever happened before. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like a, st- uh, like a portal. Yeah. Why not? For them to, yeah. Or maybe somebody brought something with them. Maybe. I definitely think, like, I sage my house every time someone shows up and they leave. Really? I sage it because I'm just like, people got attachments. People got, you know, even if it's just bad energy or, like, depression that they bring in or, like, whatever. Yeah. It sticks and I'm just like, get out. And even, even sometimes I can feel like where I'm like, I'm feeling so weird for some reason. I know this isn't me. I think that there's, like... Some energy has attached itself to me, and I gotta like it did that. But meditate. See, that is that is something that I'll be honest. Last year, I probably would have scoffed at. Yeah, but I had an experience. Tell me, and I've shared it on the pod before. But Sorry, guys, you have to hear it again. Yeah, but I, I want to hear it now. I don't give a hoot. It's a good story. <laughs> so we, I was doing a project where I was working. I was talking to ghost hunters. I love ghost hunters. Admittedly, kind of as a bit. Okay. As like a joke being like, LOL, like ghost. check these check these people out. Har, har, har. Yeah. Right. Ugly. It's ugly activity. It's not, it was not nice on my part. Yeah. But like I wasn't being mean to them. I was just kind of like letting them talk, whatever. So I met a bunch of them at this park here in San Antonio. Yeah. And it is the oldest park park in the united states okay right that's what they say yeah um but what i mean what what donates a park though 
So like right. the Boston Common has been around since 1634. Right, yeah, this is probably way younger than this. Is probably like from the eighties, and they're just like, just like. But okay, but this area has been populated by the Spanish. That's since true. Fifteen hundred, so yeah, maybe it was conquisted. Yeah, by the you know Coronado or whoever. Yeah, um, I don't know, but um, so we were there, and there was like they were talking about like the battles that have gone on there. Yeah, like the Mexican American War, all that type shit, and uh, and like you know, it's kind of like. The kid that pulled up, the guy who was our ghost hunter, yeah, bleach blonde hair, the be- the best. <laughs> Glenn, Glenn Martinez, love you, buddy. He's a superstar. Uh, he pulled up, you know, uh, windows down, and he was listening to uh, Headstrong, that song. Oh my god! Wait. Yeah, I'm gonna take you up. No, I'm gonna take you up. Like he pulled up, jamming that bleach blonde hair. Next, I hope so. Oh, that was a little bit too real, dude. So like so like that was the vibe and it was like kind of like whatever like this is perfect this kid's perfect so yeah. funny, um and then like we were talking to him and I'm getting mic'd up, and then uh, he goes like this he's like he's like hey did you feel that? Here's the thing is I did. What was it? I did feel it. It was just like a like it felt the only way I can explain it is like a breeze but from inside my own body. Weird. Yeah, it was wild. And I like I had goosebumps like bigger than I've ever had before. Yeah. And I was talking to Patrick, my buddy who was, who was filming it. And I was like, dude, like no bullshit. Like fuck everything we're doing out here. I need you to look at me and know I did feel that. Yeah. And look at my goosebumps and I'm horrified. Do you think it was any like electro stuff from like getting mic'd up? No, because it, it, like at, it. Even like like the whole time, like I was just I was like I was uh, open to like those feelings. Yeah, and I kept feeling it. I kept feeling like wow. And then like even I'd be like to them, I'd be like, "Did you feel that one?" And they'd be like, "Yes, you're feeling it." I was like, "What the fuck?" I was like, "Get the fuck out! We need to go, dude." How are you open? Did you like do anything beforehand? Or you're just like just I'm my open mind. now. Yeah, kind of, <laughs> sort of. It really was a basic bitch approach to <laughs> to ghosting. You get a little bit of white wine with you, and you're like, I'm open. <laughs> Excuse Hi. me. I've been here for 45 minutes. Do you guys like a Pinot Noir? <laughs> I don't think that's a white wine, but whatever. No, but it's still. I listen. It makes me not think about my kids. So. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the number. Rose ghost all day. <laughs> oh, 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 dude. I had a I had a very recently this very weird thing happen. So this this is probably my peak level LA wooey woo woos. Oh, I gotta tell you about my spell that I cast. Wooey woo woos. So okay. As I'm getting older, okay. I am noticing that I am more open okay. to things and like experiences and like energy or whatever yeah and i don't think i used to be and it is especially heightened during my period okay okay and i've googled this this is like a common like a lot of women feel this way yeah. like whatever energy is changing in your body the moon. the moon i'm definitely synced up to the moon i'm not on any birth control i get pregnant at any minute nice any minute Locked and loaded, fellas. Yeah, I'm ready. Down, 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 I am as fertile as I'm ever going to be. So <laughs> so I get like really, uh, I get like very um, psychic, just like little things like I will think of someone, they'll immediately call me. Okay. I've called yeah. people and they've been like, I was thinking of you or like. I'll talk about someone or someone will come to mind and then they show up or something yeah. or like I'll want something and it manifests really easily. Okay. So heightened manifesting power, just like we're in tune. And I went to go get acupuncture and uh, during acupuncture, like they put the needles in you and then you like have, they give you like 20 minutes just to be like meditate and shit while the needles are in you. Yeah. Cause it like, it does put you in like a very low vibration, not like, a, a different vibration. Low vibrations are like, would be like, I'm depressed. It's like a lower vibration. Okay. I'm so dumb. Like, does it hurt when they put the needles in you? It's so weird. It hurts for specific things. So like I go in specifically for like, I have uh, endometriosis. So I go in specifically to like help alleviate that pain. And when it's really bad, 
it, the needles hurt like crazy oh. or like for my digestion, the needles will really hurt. Like, so it just depends. Cause then you can tell like I've got some blocked energy with that. So yeah. I went in and was meditating and like got into this really deep meditation and I remember like I was flying over like this blue ocean and then all of a sudden my uncle's face appeared and he'd passed away a few years ago and it was very real and Whoa. he was very much like I couldn't hear him but he was smiling and like very like jovial and like waving and just like was just there and then he like disappeared and then I remember trying to get his image back. During the meditation. During the meditation. Because I was yeah. like, oh, that was really nice. Like, I want to see him again. But it was di like it was different. Like, when you're trying to recall a memory. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. Versus, like, someone being in front of you. Yeah. And then I got out, and I was like, that felt really crazy. It felt like he was there. Like, he had shown up and was, like, giving me a message of, like, hey, everything's cool. So I called my dad, and I was like, dad, isn't this crazy? Like, I had this thing happened and I really feel like it was him and my dad is very very catholic super like daddy super religious like yeah. daddish daddish and he was just like you know what Jen that's really great to hear because I had been praying the last few days to get some kind of sign from him that he's okay whoa yeah and so like I feel like he came to be like like oh she's super open right now I'm gonna go v give her a visit because Ken's been wow. asking for me. How about that? Yeah. So he's like, he got the messages. He's like, Ken, buddy, I'd love to let you know, but you're not doing any of the work. I'm not yeah. able to talk to you. You got you got Jesus clogging up everything. He's clogging <laughs> it up. He's mucking up the work. You got all you got all that like super patriarchal religious shit. It's tough to get Can't through. Can't get through it. You know who is open? Your wooey fucking daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Who's got a crystal She's on her person? Up, She's wounded up. I'm gonna go say hi. Are you? Do you have a crystal on you? Are you strapped? I do actually. I do have a crystal in my wallet. For, what is it in your wallet? Yeah, it's like a, a citrine. It's like a money. I like, forget that girls' wallets are different. Women's wallets. Yeah, girls. <laughs> I'm, listen, I'm, I'm oh, trying. I, I like bought a ton of crystals. I've been like, and it's so crazy. Like I got this one, and it's called Moldavite, and it's got it suddenly got very big on TikTok, and it's for like getting rid of blockages. And a lot of people have been like, I got this crystal and my boyfriend broke up with me. Or like, I bought this crystal and my house burnt down. Like crazy. Sh like people have been like, it's yeah. crazy. And like, I got it as a ring. I'll wear it and I'll start to feel really just like buzzy and not great. Cause it's like a really apparently it's like a negative. Well, it's apparently a very powerful crystal. It's only found in Eastern Europe. Oh no. On this, on uh, this <laughs> one river. I don't know why, but you can't find anywhere else. Like near Moldova? Is that what it's called? The Moldovac? Or Pro whatever? Probably. No, probably. that's yeah. bad. That's bad. So it's probably, bad vibes. It's probably just a uh, nuclear fallout. <laughs> yeah, dude. It didn't show up till the 80s after Chernobyl. Uh, but, uh, oh, no. I remember, I, so then I wore it and these crazy blockages that I knew were blockages in my life, but weren't ready to let go of them. They just went away. Like I had a huge shift in this relationship that I kind of was like on it, like yeah. whatever. Not the one we talked about a different one yeah. and it ended just was like, it became so clear and I was like, boom, it's done. Then there was uh, someone I was, I was working with that I had been for the last two years, kind of just like, uh, I don't know. Like it doesn't feel right, but I feel like there's nothing else. Yeah. And then it just ended. Like they called and were like, we don't want to do this anymore. And like a, just like a, like yeah, a, like yeah. a swift, just nope. Yep. Pretty much like. This is very Eastern European. This is right. No, we don't want you anymore. Goodbye. Yeah. yeah this is the advice that Eastern European <laughs> would give you. You'd be like, like, look, I feel like this isn't really working out for me. They're like, well, yet. Yet. Goodbye. Cut it out. So like, I just, was, it just was crazy. I was like, this is either, this is just like, you know, whatever the, this is just life or it's this fucking crystal, but it's all, it all, it does it for your own good. Like it takes up the blockages so that you can move forward with things. I wanna and get crystals, dude. right. And like, I know now, even though I cried a ton that those were true blockages and like the path to things that I wanted. 
and things that I Damn. needed. So I like am wooey. I'm pretty fucking wooey. I'll just admit it. You get, dude, I like, I like, but listen. Like, I'm not going to be like, oh, you have cancer? Why don't you put this crystal on your cancer? I'm going to be like, go to the <laughs> fucking doctor, you idiot. Right. Well, I think, like, you lose nothing by being that level of wooey. Yeah. Which I like wooey as a, as a descriptor of What's that. wooey? It's like woo woo. Yeah. Moon. <laughs> yeah. And this is not for the bloods. Maybe it's, it's not also, too though, like, I don't have kids, so I have time to, like, be That's wooey. That's true. That's true. And, it, you know, it seems like it would give me something to, to look forward to when I buy some crystals online immediately after this show. Well, you told me there's all these crazy, like... There is, dude. Places in San Antonio, which I feel like, because you were telling me about the darkness here. They're called botanicas. Well, there is, like, I know in, like, uh, in Mexican culture, there is, like, a... It's not, like necessarily witchcraft but there is yeah. like a that kind of practice yeah they're they look at them they don't look at dark like dark witchcraft or whatever yeah as the ops like they look at it as like this we're one with the yeah there's still like energy and vibe like yeah. all that stuff i don't like using the word vibes but there's still like yeah you know. Oh, dude, we're post vibes. We're po- <laughs> we're post we're post vibes, dude. So I, w- I want to get I want to get a crystal. We'll see if we can talk Andrew into going to eat somewhere or something where there's <gasps> near crystals. I want to yeah, I want to eat near crystals all the time. <laughs> and we have to be careful with San Antonio, of course, with that because they'll be the really? wrong person. Be like, crystals? You need some crystal, dude. <laughs> Oh, buddy. <laughs> it's true. It's a d- it huge is problem. Very true. Huge um, problem. I definitely, I have a joke about it, but I did, I was doing this college in Tennessee and they had people just, it was open to everybody. So yeah. they had people just from the town come in and I did this Ugh. joke about talking about crystals and they were just like, what? <laughs> Why are you talking about doing that openly? <laughs> yeah. Why are you doing meth in our town? <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Quick time out here. Hope you're enjoying the show. I want to get a quick word from one of our sponsors. Please clap. Bring the, bring it up, bring the. the Let's just play the funky music. <laughs> Quiet, wow. Play the funky music, right boy. I always thought it was white boy. It is, isn't it? I thought it was right boy. It's white boy, isn't it? I thought it was right. I always thought it was white boy. It oh, might be, shit. but you know what? It is funky, so it couldn't possibly be white, white boy, right? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry about your eardrums, dude. Um, all right, so uh, would you mind? What and this is? You know, you don't have to if you want to, but there's an ad read. Would you? Oh mind? yeah, I'd love to read this ad. Would you? Okay, ad read, and also <laughs> is it for like a skinny diet? Tea? Well, I mean, it, it might not really be great. Okay, so all right. Okay, CrossFit. Hail Mary full of veins, hallowed by thy gains. Question? Do you remember in the Bible when Jesus was obese? <laughs> I cannot fucking Are believe you, wait, it. So this is, but you, but you have to be serious. Because they're, they're not going to, they're not going to sponsor I literally just went off about fat phobia and how awful people are to fat people. And now I'm reading an ad about weight loss. I need a sponsor, dude. (laughs) Jenny, they're not. (laughs) Dude. Dude, I can't believe right, you this. You know what? You're gonna read it because this is not my brand. Oh god, <laughs> I can't believe this, dude. All right. All right I'm gonna. I will preface this okay. that the body positivity and like all like the the uh, fat acceptance movement is not about being like I'm gonna be as fat as possible and eat whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> yeah. It's all about it's about continuing to love your body. Being accepting where your body is. And if people want to change where their body looks, that's fine up to them. And it's not up to anybody else. And no one should have a say in what you do with your body. Whatever. So, and we're gonna there do you go. One- because that was bars. Great. So that now, was amazing. now read the copy. All right. So here we go. And this is for, um, all right, here we go. This is for Holy Cross Fit. Um, Hail Mary, Wait, full. Is this real? They're really called Holy CrossFit. Mm-hmm. Okay. Are right, can you please? <laughs> here's one thing. Here's one thing, dude, Jenny. I can't have you put laughing. This part, put this part on the Patreon. I can't have you laughing during this ad read. They're not going to sponsor it. <laughs> okay. This is real. Okay. 
It's real. Get it? All right, I don't listen. Think it's real, but okay. What? <laughs> you can't say that, dude. I gotta Google them. All yeah, right, here we go. Let's wait. Just wait till uh, the. Okay. Okay. Hail Mary, full of veins. Hallowed be thy gains. That's a prayer to begin. No, I know. Question. Do you remember in the Bible when Jesus was obese? Neither do we. Here at Holy Cross Fitness, we see Jesus in great shape, hanging up on that cross, and we say goals. The, the, this is the only high-intensity interval training program based on the stations of the cross. <laughs> do you, <laughs> Jenny, what, Jenny, what are you doing? Oh, God, this is out the window again. Again, <laughs> another sponsor lost. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, the only, the only, it's based on the stations of, guys, it's based on the stations of the cross. You're Catholic. You get it. Uh, do you think Jesus would have been able to rise again if he wasn't absolutely shredded? <laughs> <laughs> no, no way. I mean, you try rolling a boulder out of a tomb. Literally, come try it out. Choose from one of our many crosses you can bear and carry around the gym. Do you flip a cross? You, a, a good question, I believe. Is it cross flipping? It's, <laughs> <laughs> I believe you can do that. You, I think mainly you just put it on your back and you, you bear it. And you it's, run it? It's you your run cross, cross to bear and you, you run around. So you jump on a box 15 times. Yep. And then and then you uh, run around with a cross. Yeah. Okay. And well, and then there's the boulder you can roll out of the tomb. You roll a boulder up. Okay, I get Clearly, it. Clearly, I don't really know about CrossFit or the people who did, wrote this. <laughs> yep. Don't know about uh, their their own business. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, we're open Monday through Saturday. Okay. Surprise, surprise, year round. You know that Curves is closed on Sundays because they're owned by a Christian. Really? Company. Yeah. Is Curve still around? Probably not. <laughs> no. <laughs> Somebody asked me to go. Uh, Curves called me one time and said, hey, will you come over? You know what I did? I fucking curved him. I said, did you? Yep, I hit him with the curve. <laughs> There's no way, Curves. Stay in your lane. Leave me out of it. I'm a Jenny Craig man. I'm loyal. Um, uh, we're open Monday through Saturday, year round. The only thing we ask is is that you bring a positive attitude and to not consume wine or any alcohol during workouts. Oh, well, then all of the women of San Antonio are out They're age 35 out. to 37. They're so out, dude. <laughs> Amber, this is for you. You're fucking out. Uh, um, fruit Punch Powerade will be provided as the blood of Jesus. Try us out. Have a little faith. What would Jesus do? He'd train. That's what. It's Holy It's Holy Cross Fitness, located on 281 and Highway 46 in the Hill Country. Tell them God sent you. <laughs> so hopefully. I definitely thought that was a real one. What do you mean? That's it is not a real, real sponsor. Are, are you fucking kidding me? That it's not a real Jenny. sponsor. I just Googled Holy Cross fi- Fitness. And it came up. It's and it was, not real. It's, Jenny, I can't believe you're doing it's this. It's not real. It's not real on the pod How anymore. How dare you? Oh, How dare you? Oh, God. Bring a fake ad. Oh, Onto my time. <laughs> oh, no, dude. I'm trying to get traction. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. It never <sighs> works. This is three sponsors down. What was the last the other three that didn't work out? Batman brand cargo pants. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is really kicking a, kicking a man while he's down here. Yeah. Uh, and the first one was uh, the Boot Scoot Moon Saloon. What's the Boot Scoot Moon Saloon? It's a uh, it's a place where you can go if you're like a nerd, but you're also you also love uh, country music. Oh, so yeah. Was there a Boot Scoot? Is that a thing? Yeah, uh, but yeah, I think it's is a that type a nerd of, thing? Uh, well, the moon is the is the nerd part. The so, moon is yeah. Nerds like the moon. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> You know, sometimes you know you should. Can I can I write one uh, an ad for you right now? Well, that yeah, I think you should be sponsored by um, yes. by a Dungeons and Dragons uh, all service nerd dungeon. Well, oh, oh, is do that want, real? Do you want a dominatrix who's also going to tap your mana? Whoa! <laughs> oh, this is good. Okay, good. 
Good. Good. I like um, this place. Yeah. Do you want to, um, you know, my, some of the Minecraft? <laughs> <laughs> it's not yours. It's mine. It's Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's every, some... every time you want to get spanked, you have to roll for initiative. Oh, that's right. That's very good. I love this. And I'm glad you're bringing this legitimate company to They're my... They're very legitimate. Okay, They're good. very legitimate. I um, hope so. And then when you go in, you can either uh, get a... Um, you can have an elf as your as a your real, is dom. It a, a real elf? No. I mean, no. Come on. Don't, oh. don't be an idiot. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you can get an elf. You can get a paladin if you want. Whoa. Yeah, paladin, pretty dope. Um, or an you can Irish. get a, you can get a, an Irish. What? <laughs> <laughs> or you can get an Irish person. <laughs> you can also get a short Irish person. Yeah, that's just an Irish person. <laughs> <laughs> to humiliate you, your dick is so small. <laughs> oh, you've got a tiny little dick. Look at you, your little piece of shit, and your tiny little little wiener. <laughs> Before you came in, you've ripped it off yourself. <laughs> I don't do I'm it. Gonna put, I'm going to put your tiny little balls inside this tiny little ball cage. And if you get an erection, oh. it's going to hit a spike and you're going to really hate it. I can't believe how good that is. That is an amazing Irish dominatrix accent. It's a terrible dominatrix. No, it's good. It's good because it's kind of charming. Put on the latex mask, all right? <laughs> I'll be hearing none of that. <laughs> Put on the collar, get on your knees, boy. Come on, you've got a tiny little prick. <laughs> oh, the ball cage, is that real? Yeah, oh, 100% there's a ball cage. I wonder if I should get into there's, being a dominatrix. There is, uh, I know there's one that if you do have an erection, like, you're in, you're encased in spikes. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. Never. Oh, my God. I mean... Can I be- or you do it and you're like, this is the greatest thing ever. And your your, your wiener uh, pin cushioned. I mean, just don't get an erection. Is it what? that hard? I mean, sometimes you wake is up. Is it that hard? Because it's not, it's not in that thing. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Bars, dude. I want to be, can I be the, a dominatrix? I want to start my own dominatrix business. Okay. Where I'm just, I just roast them. That's, I mean, that's a very legitimate, it's humiliation. You, you can you can find people that will call you, give you 50 bucks for 20 minutes, and you just humiliate them I on the phone. Send me a picture of what you're wearing right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. stupid. Yo, my man, my man, like, my man, is, my man's going to name his first born child Ross, <laughs> second born child Marshall. <laughs> The mother's TJ Maxx. Oh, nice! I like that because it's progressive. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, I just want to roast. I just want to roast people. I could do that as a dominatrix. That's fine. I mean, that's fine. You could. I just be you like, could. I mean, what? Like, uh, look. I think that there is someone out there for everybody. Yes, and that's this is one thing I've also learned about exploring this. Uh, Exploring, kind of, I explore the kink community a little bit. Like I like to dip my toes in and be like, "I'd hey, love, what's that? Uh, yeah." What is there? But there, there is a body type for everyone, and everyone likes something. And like, there are people who want to be like hugged by a big bear, and then there are dudes who want a large lady to, to overpower them Whoa. and squeeze the life out of them. It exists. That's so great. there's always someone for everybody. So explore, open your horizons. Yeah. Is what we're saying together. I think the general theme yeah. right now is open up. Open up. You you're, gotta open up. You're getting too old to be this closed out. Yeah. Come on. Get put the wine down. Put it down. It's poisoning your mind. Just open up. <sighs> glug, glug, glug. Constantly. Yeah, do some ayahuasca. Oh yeah. Different yeah. wine. <laughs> Way very different wine. Oh, yeah, do a different wine. <laughs> yeah. Um yeah. Also, like, what do you think? You're sitting there. You're listening to this. You think you know everything? I don't even think I know everything. These people think they fucking. They I'm sure people are gonna listen to this and be like, "That girl knows don't know shit." Look. There are no such things as ghosts. Fat people are gross, and oh. there's no such things as Dungeons and Dragons dominatrix. Yeah. Give me the number of that Holy CrossFit. Yeah. <laughs> because, yeah. Do you ever see like the the thing like this is how to me like how insidious diet culture can be is 
there are Christian weight loss groups that are like losing weight for Jesus. Oh God. <laughs> like he gives a shit. Yeah, Jesus is Jesus would be the first one to be like, I love you, buddy. Yeah, Jesus would be like, I love you no matter what. Jesus isn't like, I love you, but also like yeah, get it together, ew? brother. Hey brother. <laughs> you come in here. Come on, brother. What are you doing? How are you how are you gonna save how are you gonna save people from eternal damnation? <laughs> You can't if you're not, even save a slice of cheesecake for yourself, huh, brother? Buddy, you gotta get ripped. Is what you gotta do. Number one, and listen, I don't. He looks around. Listen, I don't give a damn. <laughs> you're, you're, you're gonna like a youth, youth pastor. He's like, listen, I don't. I don't. I don't care what the hell these people think. <laughs> you're like, damn, this dude's edgy as fuck. He's wearing thumb rings. You know what, like. Uh, the the Christian Christianity really does have the, the market cornered on those cool youth pastors. Like there's oh. no cool youth rabbis. <laughs> That's just, true. Like, that is there's true. There's no like fun cool rabbi. We had Modest Yahoo for like a minute. Oh <laughs> man! It. But he wouldn't even touch you because he couldn't because he was Hasidic. He couldn't touch women who weren't his wife. Oh, and now he's man. not Hasidic, which is fine. I didn't know you were allowed to do that. You're allowed what? to switch up. Like usually, if you're Hasidic. I well, he went like, to become a Hasidic. So, like, he had some, like, weird, I don't know, he said like, some coming to God moment and then became a Hasidim and then wow. was like, I don't want to do this anymore. And then he left and people leave all the time. It's, just, it's like the trying, Amish. Though. Like, that is like, that is like, if you want to go, if, if you want to see if you're really about this shit, go yeah. try to be Hasidic. Yeah, go uh, only be able to touch your wife and not never another woman in your life. Yeah, and where's the haircut of a, yeah. of, you know. Have those two long curls, they get in the way. The pay us. Yeah. Have your little titsy sticking out. Man, I get, it's a good look, though. At least you don't have to. It's like Steve Jobs. You don't have to worry about what you're going to wear. Look, it is a hot look. I used, this is, a again, another joke I did have, but it's true. I used to, uh, when I lived in Brooklyn, I used to fuck this uh, ex Hasidim and I asked him to wear the titsies and a yarmulke one time. Oh, nice. I was That's like, you just dangerous. dress up? Just come on, oh. answer the door. And he, he showed up, opened the door. <laughs> And then we did the whole, like, oh, you're my landlord. And he's like, yes, the rent wow. is due. Wow. Yeah, it was fun. Wow, look at that. The sex is pretty fun. It was, like, very regular. But I just enjoyed the fact that. The, the role play, the lead up. I think, do you ever do st- stupid stuff for the joke? All the time. Yeah, like oh, being in a relationship for too long. Because <laughs> it, it was funny. Because it's a good bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. He he told me, he's like, I like seeing you because you remind me of Lena Dunham. And I was just like, huh? What? I was just like a neurotic, chubby Jewish girl. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. Yeah, that's so fucked up, dude. Yeah. Damn. And I'm like, I'm, I fuck you because you dirty talk to me in Yiddish. So. Wow, that's yeah, that'll get it done. Yeah. Look at didn't there's know. somebody for everybody. Didn't know. Yeah. Then I, now, I hope he's out there with like eight kids now. I hope he returned to the fold. Oh, is that what's good? Yeah, he got back in there. Yeah. Now he can't even look at you. No. Or listen to your. He can look at me. But can he listen to your albums? I'm sure he has. I'm sure his ego was so stroked when I did a joke about him on TV. Oh, God. You, oh, whoa. Oh, that's huge. Yeah. That's huge. Or the the greatest art. Wait, are they allowed to watch TV? I'm so angry. They are, yes. I'm so sorry. I'm so well, dumb. Okay, the really uh the really religious ones <laughs> the, the don't. Really the really Hasidic ones. The really Hasidic ones, they they don't they don't uh live in our world at all. Damn. Except for like, you know, financials making money and stuff, but they don't watch our TV, they don't read our books, they don't I don't mean like ours, but Western, I'll say that. Like yeah. Western culture they're very much like it's you know 1895 and wow uh, that's rad you know what i want to say i want to get this out there that's the real punk rock movement yeah you want to be punk but you're still riding the fucking you're riding the train yeah do they ride the train yeah yeah fuck what's a good example if you want to be not on fridays though oh that's right on the shabbat yeah shabbos shabbos fuck it's shabbat it's shabbat but it's like the shabbos well you know, you want to really be punk rock and and you're still listening to music? Yeah, no. Get That's yourself a, a big, full, woolly hat oh, to wear yeah. outside for no reason. I don't know why they wear those hats. Well, I mean, it's it's what it's what they would have worn in 1985. 1885. 
<laughs> Listen, whenever a lot of things changed whenever uh, New Jack City came out, 1985. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, I hope you don't mind. We have some some problems from the audience. Sure. You want to give some people some bad advice? Yeah, I love it. Okay, must be bad. Okay. And that's your only warning. Okay. You seem you're a good advice giver. I could tell. So I'll you're give on bad notice. Advice. Okay, good. Okay. Um, how to turn sitting at home into a special skill on my resume? Um, we'll you see. what you should be doing is starting an OnlyFans of you oh. sitting at home and sitting on different things in your home. Oh, a sitting. Yes, yes. Become a sit professional. Yeah. And you sit on bread. You sit on like oh, man. Uh, stuffed animals. Like move around a little bit while you're sitting on them. Someone's going to watch that and is going to be like hard for it and give you 20 bucks a month to watch you man. sit on stuff. So you don't even need to put on your resume anymore. You Yeah, you don't need a, you don't need a resume, period. Yeah, you're going to be making $6,000 a month to watch to have old weirdos fucking watch you sit on stuff to ruin pastries yeah ruin pastries sit on a window put your butt up against glass oh do you know how many people would watch oh that's good your that butt is... up against glass oh, wait that's too good that is too good that's the that is almost too good i know now I we're workshopping I might, I it i might do it yeah we should yeah <laughs> we'll just start, just start our own bakery <laughs> jenny to... sits on stuff with her big old butt I'm not. I did learn about cake sitting, and I was very jealous. What's cake sitting? It's where pe- girls or women sit on cakes. Oh, I would do that in a heartbeat. I'm, that does sound like a yeast infection waiting to happen, though. That's true. I would do it as long as they replace the cake with one I could take home later. Oh, so I'm not. So I'm well, not wasting just, a just cake. Just sit on part of it. <laughs> you had to cut it. Yeah. <laughs> Half cake, half, half cake, cake sits. I think they'd be furious. I don't think that would fly at all in the cake watching community. Um, okay, so. Uh, oh, let's see. Um, should I get the new iPad or pay off student debt? This one's easy for me is iPad. Okay. Um, I don't think you should do either. Okay. No, that should exist. How much is the new iPad? $200, $300? <sighs> I got news for you. It's, it's a lot. 700, 800. It's probably like 1500. For an iPad? Yeah, for like the brand new one, it seems. Why don't you just take that money and shove it up your dick hole? Because that's <laughs> but that, on that is only just as as much of an investment. Wait, do you don't you don't like iPads? It's it's fifteen hundred dollars for an iPad is stupid. Yeah. Why? So you can do what? What do you want to do with it? Net, Netflix bigger. <laughs> <laughs> you don't fucking draw it. You get a Wacom tablet. Spend twelve hundred dollars to get the fucking coolest oh, yeah. Windows Dell shit, whatever. And then you can make all this stuff. So again, this is too good of advice. Yeah, but I this, really but do feel I'm, like I'm you should take that, 15, take that fifteen hundred dollars and um, you know, put it into a sushi sushi swap. <laughs> <laughs> what, is that the new? Is that the as new a, crypto? It's a crypto. Sushi That's swap. not doing well. It's not a good crypto. What are, right what now. are we doing with the Doge? Um, are you on the? Are you on crypto? I'm not on Doge because Doge is a meme coin. I know people are making tons of money on it, but I'm you know I'm more of a regular investor. And the sushi swamp. Sushi swap is is one. I'm right now. I am in. Um, I'm in Cardano, but I don't think I should Ooh, be. Ooh, I like Polygon Cardano. might be a big one that's going to hit okay, soon. I, like, I, I mean, just based on, I'm only, ba- I'm a big names guy. So I, sh- actually yesterday, I sh- totally should have gotten Polygon because I was thinking I should buy Polygon and it actually just went up today. To how much? Uh, it went from 33 yesterday to now it's at 38. That's a fucking, that's a spike if I've ever heard of one. I mean, 37 cents. Why, that's I mean, good. Fucking why not? That's Polygon good. Oh, might be sense. well. Polygon might be good, but I I don't know. There are a couple of people I follow in crypto. I would say just the worst advice you could probably do is just whatever money you have, just invest it in crypto. It's stupid. Yeah, and it's gambling. Gam- it, that's that's why I love it, baby. I, I have, gamble sports and crypto. That's <laughs> I it. have my money in ETH, Bit, XLM, and then Cardano. Yeah, ETH and Coin. Yeah. Nice, dude. I well, here's what I'm and I'm losing. My, I'm losing my fucking hat on Dogecoin. I just looked on Robin. Well, how much did you lose? Don't do that. What happened? What did you invest? What What did you get in at? I got it yesterday. You got it yesterday when I it bought was some a, yesterday. when it was high. When it was yep. What was it at yesterday? Higher than it is today. I'll tell what you was that. it at yesterday? Well, I'm uh, well, I'm down. It's down ten percent since I bought it. <laughs> 
10 full percent points. 10 full, that's, I mean, that's a lot. It's a lot, dude. Why don't you just tell me what you bought it at? It doesn't say on Robin Hood. You don't I know think. what it was? What's it at now? I don't even remember. It's at 32 cents. Okay, it's still higher than it was before. Yeah. It's still so a good, it but hasn't it's a hit meme the coin. I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna go down, but I, I mean, made whatever. some money on you made uh, some cash. GameStop. How much you make on GameStop? I ended up, I ended up making like three hundred bucks. Yeah, it's great. But I lost, I lost a lot of money for a long time. <laughs> 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 like, like I just had it. Like I bought it the first time it went up. Yeah. I, I always buy. Half. What would you have sold if you? Well, but that's the thing is you don't know what to buy unless you hear about it, and then it's already fucked. <sighs> And I should know that. Yeah. I shouldn't me the time I hear about it. It's way too late. Oh, yeah. I'm not a fucking stock guy. I should have bought. I probably should have bought. I was going to buy Doge when it was at like five. Here's the thing is I had it. I had it when it was dead and I sold it. How much did you make on that? Nothing. I made nothing. I just cashed out. I just got my money Why back. Why do you cash out? Because I, I, I'm impatient. I want to use money for. I want to I wanna put, I wanna put more money into my bookie. I just get like, okay, every time bit goes down, I put in 50 bucks and I just don't think about it. I am. I do have a recurring uh, deposit for Bitcoin yeah. now. That I that I deleted the app. But then also though, you can do staking in ETH now on Coinbase. Coinbase, I think, is allowing you. They're Some staking stake, in ETH too. Which I'm still trying to figure out what staking actually is. But uh, it's a great branding because I'm down. I I watch Altcoin Daily. Oh. Um, and every day they do a video about about what's going on with Bit. And then there are two dudes that I follow that I like. I don't like the BitBoy dude. He's too like, bah. And then there's this like Swedish guy who's a total scammy scam. Oh, but I like Alt. Altcoin Daily. I like those dudes. And then there's a couple other people that I like. But um, no, I haven't like broken the bank with anything yet. Me neither. I have, but I, I, God damn it, I'm trying. Yeah. I'll get there. I'll get, I'll break through. I'll go broke. I'm definitely like, I've definitely made at least on all of my money I've made you know, I'm I'm not in the I'm not in the black. I'll say that. Yeah. Or not I no, mean in the red. Oh, dude, I, it's like a it's like I'm on a mission to to lose I whatever amount of money I have to spend in my life, I will spend that much. Yeah. I don't save it I don't Just save a dime. Invest invest in real estate. What are you doing? Come on. I mean, it's the worst time to buy right now. Ooh, that is so Don't even think about it. That is so intimidating. Maybe I don't know, maybe I should. I mean, I look, like, we'll, talk, we'll talk about it. I love talking about real estate. I'm a Capricorn. Love Ooh. talking about money. Love talking about business. You're right by me. I'm a Scorpio. A Scorpio? A Scorpio. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not. It's, there's a Sagittarius in between Oh, us. shit. <laughs> shit. I, I, did, I got bit by a scorpion in my own home. Months ago. In this ago. home? Yep. Months ago. Oh, that's Just, not good. No, it's not good, dude. Why was there a scorpion in here? Because it's... Uh, there's nature out there, and they are just waiting. I guess, yes, yeah, it's Texas. There are scorpions. No, it's what? How's there a scorpion out here? There's scorpions in San Antonio. That's why I like this place. Really? Scorpions. You like danger. Yes. And there's snakes out there, too. Go nuts. Ugh, no, thank you. You like nature? I you love do nature. love nature. I love nature. I don't like anything that kills me. I have a hard time with it. I love it. Because that's where the killer things are. Yeah, but you know what? Nature, okay, you might have a chakra that's off. Like your earth chakra might be off. Oh, it's, oh, it's way off. And this, so the earth chakra is all about um, having the right to be here, having the right to have. On earth. Yeah. So right of existence, right to be here, all oh. that stuff. And so if it's blocked, a great way to connect back to it is through nature, is through that stuff. That so is So maybe funny. by you not wanting to be it is you not wanting to deal with your chakra blockage. I'm down. <laughs> I'm into it. Let's let's figure out my chakras. Your sh- that's so that's your earth one is um I'm gonna have to eventually get ready for my show. But the yeah. earth one the earth one is like to have and to like to exist. Yeah. And then your second one up from that is sexuality. So that's like for to have pleasure. Okay. And then your third one is your ego or like so this is your solar plexus one. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and that one is um I forget what the right one the, the right to that is. But that one, if that one's off, there's it's a lot of self esteem issues. Oh god, if they're all blocked. off. 
the, your heart chakra is to be loved and have love. Oh, <laughs> um, and then your then your that was one two three four five is your throat is communication. So like to be heard, to speak, to communicate. Oh, Jesus. Then you have your fifth, which is your third, third eye. So that's more about like spiritual, um, and like to connect. And then you have your crown chakra, which is like the one that goes out of your head, and so. They either are blocked or there's too much of it, and then your other ones will will compensate. So if your lower ones tend to be blocked, your higher ones will compensate. So you can be really in your head all the time or, like, really just, like... A thousand percent. Yeah. A thousand percent. You need to go get some... You need to, you need to do some wooey research. I need to do so. Somebody woo me out, dude. You need to woo. We're going to need, need to woo, woo me woo the you fuck out. up. Read a book. It's called <sighs> Eastern Body, Western Mind. Or no, Western Body, Eastern Mind. Okay. One of those two. But it talks about that. It talks about psychology and chakras in, like, a... Not in, like, you know, like, it... Shit makes sense. I'm in. Also, I'm I'm open to it. So yeah, be even open. if it's yeah, that's our that's our message here. Be open. There's a voicemail. You don't have to listen to it, but I'll play it. Uh, you, you guys know where the voicemail, uh, where to get the number. You do the thing. Here we go. I'm BasilMarceau.com, the Republican candidate for governor. I'd like to recall all permit and registration for guns. Everyone can carry guns. If you kill someone, no, you get murdered. I mean, you go to jail. And uh, nice. I like to put uh, plant grass or vegetation across the, from the state with any vacant lot and sell it for gas so we can use it, use it for our expenses. Nice, dude. Also, what I'm going to remove that? all gold fringe uh, flags from the state I didn't catch his name. and fly the real flag with three stripes. I also want to stop traffic stops, set it up like the Supreme Court rule in the Nose versus Iowa. If you can't find evidence in the car, you can't look. Fair. I want you all to vote for Basil Marceau. I want you to say the Pledge of Allegiance to a Republic in the morning when you come out. And we all pray to God and say oh. amen. Amen. And amen. Everyone, Basil. Amen. Have a nice day. Basil. I'll see you all at the polls. Yes, see you will. See you at the polls. Have a nice day. Like Basil for polls? governor. Strip polls, right? Strip polls. <laughs> Basil. See you at the strip polls, Basil. Basil. Get loose, daddy <laughs> Jenny Zagrino, thank you so much. Do you want to plug your... your, We're doing a tour right now. Um, We are currently going to be in San Antonio. Obviously, you won't be here. Nope. Um, And, well, you're hosting it, right? I'm hosting, yeah. Dope. Um, I have not performed an hour in uh, a year. This is going to be so much fun, (laughs) I'm going to cry No way. It's going to be so much fun. start crying. It's going to be a moment. Everybody's excited to be a part of it. Um, Oh, yeah, my first one. Oh, so crazy. And then uh, tomorrow is New Orleans. Okay. And then Friday is Lafayette. So Ooh, if people are nice. here by Friday, come out to Lafayette 337 Club. Ooh, Very excited. Represent. And then we, Rudd Yards in um, Houston oh, on Saturday. Rudd's. Rudd's the best room in the world. Is it good? It's better um, than Andrew's Club? <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> I'll say that unless Andrew <laughs> listens to this. <laughs> Um, and then Sunday is uh, the Parker Jazz Club in Austin, Texas. Beautiful. Go out and see Jenny's Greeno, yeah. dude. And I'm adding more dates all the time. I got some Alabama stuff coming up. Ooh. I got some New Hampshire, Florida. I've never Holy done Moses. like. No, actually, that's a lie. I've done the improv in, in Tampa. But I'm going to be doing St. Pete's. So. Nice. Exciting. Jenny's Greeno. Thank, Thank you. you so much. All right. Bye, guys. Be good. Hey baby, I hear the blues are calling Toss salads and scrambled eggs And maybe I seem a bit confused Yeah baby, but I got you pegged But I don't know what to do with those toss salads and scrambled eggs All over my face. What is a boy to do? Now let me see your fire. Understand you. the problem I see you say.